I made a wrong prediction before, but now I figured out the exact release time for the Kale Morgana rework. Just give me like 30 seconds for context and to do the whole, you know, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video a bit because it's YouTube, and I'll get on with it, I promise. So for those that missed part one, I predicted Kale Morgana this PvE cycle of 9.4 based on both champions seemingly to be done in kit and splash arts, leaving only bugs left. And so I figured they'd go to the PvE and so then us, we could, you know, as testers on the PvE, could iron out and figure out the bugs a lot faster, a broader player base, you know, like at least let's say a thousand people are on there, figuring out and finding the bugs faster, making it easier to polish them, and there we go. But then I discovered something immediately after I posted the last video and sat down to eat dinner. Kale Morgana were released 10 years ago on February 21st, 2009. And with most of the rework complete now, my prediction as well as several commenters on the last video is the reworks will be teased or dropped around February 21st of this year. But where's my evidence, you ask? Well first, from August's stream himself, the person who's doing the rework for Kale Morgana, he said this. I can't play Kale. After playing my Kale, I can't go back. My Kale is so much better than this Kale. She feels good, let me tell you. This confirms the rework is in playtesting, far beyond designing art and kits themselves. But beyond August, we'd actually have to look at our good, good friend, Spider X30. In the face of my wrong prediction, he tweeted out this yesterday. I'm always amused at when people think they're right or conduct a theory based off of rumor or miscommunication. I don't bother to correct them because it isn't my business unless confronted. I never do anything without a citable source or making it known it's non-reliable. So I decided to go into detective mode and dig a little deeper into this statement. For starters, they have tweeted out the favorite splash arts and skins of Morgana of Riders backing up our current theory, the reworks are in their final phases. For example, Rev3 really likes the new Baker Morgana Splash. Or, I might be pronouncing that wrong by the way, Reeves 3's favorite new Morgana skins are Exiled, Blade Mistress, and Ghost Bride. But do you know what else Spider Axe has tweeted out? Well, if you go back to February 21st of 2009, nothing. That's right, they did not tweet out anything back then. And if you fast forward to February 21st, 2019, also nothing. Now the later has not happened yet, so that's understandable. But Spider-Axe existed in 2009 as a person somewhere on God's green earth and said nothing. Why? Because of that first tweet. Remember they said, I don't bother to correct them unless confronted. To be able to correct someone means he knows the right answer, and to not say nothing is probably because he is not allowed to by right. Now you can try several methods to try and get him to talk if you want. Did you know taking a picture of a spider axe and saying its name 30 times in a mirror will make you question your own sanity? Or perhaps you can try sacrificing said picture to the Riot Gods to summon the Kale Morgana rework information directly, but then you realize how terrible this idea is and that this will be seen on YouTube and you start questioning your life choices as you try and handle college full time as well. But ultimately that is where we are at, February 21st, 2019, 10 years after the release and 2 weeks from this video, which will be during the PvE cycle for patch 9.5. However, due to how close it still is to Silas hitting live servers, you might be able to expect him to actually push it back to the following PvE cycle of 9.6, which will then be early March, March the 7th, exactly one month from this video. So thank you all for watching this video. If I end up being wrong this time, you can hit me up on Twitter and tweet me that like, why Jinx hates pizza as punishment or something, whatever, go ham. Please go follow SpiderX30 in all seriousness on Twitter as well. They work hard, often don't get credit, and are closing in on 3,000 followers, including even Red Mercy, which means I should probably start calling SpiderX Axe Mercy. But yeah, anyways, follow them, appreciate their work, and that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button, but 
I don't know which video will be next, because I even have a lot of kinks. So until next time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.